morning this is an example from the milli thomson method and it is very important one so here it is given that if u minus v is equal to x minus y into x square plus 4xy plus y square and if z is equal to u plus iota v is an analytic function of z we have to find fz in terms of z right what i'm going to do over here is as fz is an analytic function given to us and u minus v is given to us, right? I will define a function capital F of z to be equal to u plus iota v where u and v are in capitals. So, I take u to be as u minus v that is given to us and v to be taken as u plus v. And then I will find f dash z and using the milne thomson method, I get fz in terms of z, right? So, the steps are written over here. First, define capital FZ to be equal to u plus iota v. Then, take u minus v as capital U and u plus v as capital V. And then, find f dash z that is equal to curly u over curly x plus iota curly v over curly x. Please here keep in mind that you are having u to be equal to u minus v. This is only given to you. The value of capital U is only given to us. So, we can only find curly u over curly x. But how can I find curly v over curly x? Because the value of u plus v is not with us. Right? So, for that... I can use the ZR equations over here to get curly V over curly X in terms of U. That is, I know that from ZR equations, this curly V over curly X is negative of curly U over curly Y. So, I can replace this with negative curly U over curly Y so that I can find F dash Z very easily. So, here in the third step, ZR equations are very, very helpful, right? And then we have to use a milli thomson method. We just replace x by z and y by 0. And then finally integrate f dash z to get fz in terms of z. Right? So let's move on to the solution. fz is u plus iota v. Let me multiply iota on both the sides. So, I get this to be equal to iota u minus v. Now, let's add these two. I get 1 plus iota into f of z. That is equal to, if I add the right hand side, just collect the real part first. You will get the real part as u minus v and the imaginary part as u plus v. Let me denote this as capital FZ and which is equal to let's take this as capital U plus iota and U plus V as capital V. So capital U is U minus V and capital V is U plus V. So FZ becomes capital U plus iota capital V. And f dash z is, we all know that this is curly u over curly x plus iota curly v over curly x. Now, because in the question, only I'm having the value of this capital U as u minus v. I'm not having the value of u plus v in the question, right? So, how can I find curly v over curly x then? I can find curly u over curly x from here. Very well. But how can I find curly V over curly X? So here I am going to use the CR equations. So curly U over curly X plus what is curly V over curly X in according to the CR equations? It is negative curly U over curly Y. Right? So F dash Z becomes curly U over curly X minus iota curly u over curly y. Now I can differentiate u with respect to x and also with respect to y to get f dash z very easily. 
So capital U is given to us that is U minus V. So finding curly U over curly X. So just differentiating this U minus V with respect to X. So first function differentiating second function with respect to X that will give us 2X plus 4Y plus second function and differentiating first with respect to x we get 1 so this is equal to okay from here I get 2x square from here I'm getting x square so this is 3x square and then from here I get 4xy here also I'm having 4xy but also I'm getting negative 2xy that will become 8xy minus 2xy that is 6xy and then negative 4y square and here I'm having y square that will give us negative 3y square. That's it. So now finding curly u over curly y. Okay, first function, differentiating second function with respect to y, I get 4x plus 2y plus second function. And then differentiating first with respect to y, that will give us negative 1. So on simplifying this, you get 3x square minus 6xy minus 3y square. Let's substitute these values in 1. That is in f dash z. So substituting this, we get f dash z to be equal to curly u over curly x that is 3x square plus 6xy minus 3y square minus iota curly u over curly y that is 3x square minus 6xy minus 3y square. And now applying the milli thompson method where I replace x by z and y by 0. So this term vanishes and this term vanishes, this term vanishes, this term vanishes, this also vanishes. So the remaining terms are 3x square minus iota 3x square. But I have to replace this x with z. So what is left with us? 3z square minus iota 3z square. So f dash z is equal to 3z square minus iota 3z square. So taking 3z square common, I get 3z square into 1 minus iota. Let's integrate both the sides. So left hand side becomes fz 3 into 1 minus iota outside of this integral z square dz. So fz is written as 1 plus iota fz that is equal to 3 times 1 minus iota and the integration for z square is z cube over 3 plus constant this 3 will go taking 1 plus iota to the other side so fz is equal to 1 minus iota over 1 plus iota z cube plus c over 1 plus iota on rationalizing this I get 1 minus iota square over 1 minus iota square that is 2 z cube z cube plus taking this constant as a so let's open this bracket in the numerator that is 1 square plus iota square minus 2 iota over 2 z cube plus a. So this is equal to, okay, i to square is negative 1, so this will go. So here I get negative iota z cube plus a. That is the required function fz in terms of z. Thank you.